well, let me say that we had our governor, Kwan Young Kim, who was unable to make it here today, and he did send Mr. Sung Il Kim to represent him, so we just like to pay special recognition to Mr. Sung Il Kim. Uh, good morning, uh, Honorable Kuyama veterans and uh, other veterans, families, and ladies and gentlemen. Uh, on behalf of the Korean government, I am very honored to be here at this meaningful event to show our sharings and uh, our respect to the Korean veterans who gave Korea uh, freedom and democracy. Uh, first of all, I would like to extend my thanks to uh, all the volunteers, all the members uh, of the uh, city, city of Cleveland and uh, Veterans Medical Center and all the Korean community members who are present uh, here uh, today. And uh, my secondly, I would like to extend my thanks to uh, <coughs> President Jin An Soon, uh, uh, Korean American uh, Friendship Network, and President Kim Gil Jong. Uh, of the Federation of Korean American Association uh, Midwest and uh, all the members of uh, Korean American Association in Cleveland. And last but least, I would like to extend my special thanks for the, all the veterans uh, for being here with us today. Uh, as, as you know well, Korea and the United States uh, uh, have maintained a strong alliance for more than 60 years. Uh, when the Korean War broke out in 1950, we thanks to the uh, noble sacrifice of the Korean War veterans and the unwavering support of the United States, Korea was able to save the freedom and democracy on the Korean Peninsula. Since the Korean War, Korea has achieved a remarkable economic growth with a full-fledged democracy. All of these would not have been possible without uh, your sacrifices and the support of the United States. Korea now has become the world's eighth largest trading country with the one trillion dollars mark. And Korea has also become transformed itself from the aid giving country, aid receiving country to aid giving country. All of these are your sacrifices and your devotions. Uh, Korean people will always remember your sacrifices and your contributions to our freedom and democracy. And lastly, I would like to wish all of you uh, good health and happy holiday season. Thank you very much.